Hello, everyone. I'm Esperanza Walsh, and this is Art and Heart at St. Augustine's Church. And for this session, our subject is hamsters. Uh, in the face-to-face uh, -face session, I'm sorry, in the Zoom session uh, for the live class, we actually did a cartoon hamster. Uh, we copied it uh, from something available online, and it's very cute. But we also made a more realistic type of hamster. And uh, for this session, we are going to do the realistic hamster. So the first thing we uh, have to do is make sure that we have our sheet of paper, pencil, and our eraser. And we are going to do a sketch of uh, this hamster. And after we do the sketch, we are going to paint the subject. Okay, so let's start with the sketch. Oh, look at that pretty face. So uh, the first thing we're going to do would be to sketch the shape. So the shape is actually like a triangle. But instead of having uh, pointed corners, it's, um, okay, let me show you. So it's like a triangle. Okay, so that's the base. And then the two legs of the triangle would be here on the sides. So if we extend it here, it would meet. So instead of having those corners here, here, and here, it would actually be uh, curves. So uh, that's the first thing we're doing, identifying the basic shape of the subject. And after we've done that, we would now be looking at the parts of this uh, subject, like the nose, the eyes, the whiskers, uh, the head, of course, the feet, the ears, the hands. So we um, we look at all those things after uh, we have done the basic shape. So let's go back to this. So let me just draw that basic shape again. So I make let me make this lower, just like something I saw in a, on a photograph. like so, okay, maybe it needs to be uh, tapered here a bit, because as I said, the basic shape would be a triangle. I mean, it would be rounder, but it would be cuter, but less realistic. So for this one, okay, let's taper this bit. Okay. Not sure if you can see it, but I will darken the lines after I have positioned the ears. So let me position the ears so that you can see the image better. So ears would be somewhere here. So. like that. So now I can darken it. Okay, I think that's much better. Later on, I would need to erase this uh, so that we can make the fur look furry. I'm going to put a background, uh, unlike this one, or, and there was no background for this one. I will be erasing some of the lines and we will be having that background. So here I have the ears. Okay, fantastic. Now I will draw the feet first. So the feet I have here would be quite simple. But there are some sort of webbing that we can see here. And then here it's similar. So again, feet. Oops, I need to make that 
slightly bigger because I've made this side longer. That means it's closer. So that means the feet should also be bigger. Okay, fantastic. That is amazing. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is to locate this area. Okay, so this area will be like this. So that is now our head. So that divides um, the image between the head and the body. And then I am, since I'm already here, I am going to draw the hands. I'm not going to put a lot of details in the hands. Then I'm going to draw the nose. I'm not going to put a lot of details in the drawing of the nose as well. And then the eyes. I think this one is too small. Let me just turn it around so you can see. Oh, wow. I think my nose is a bit too big. So let me just reduce the size of the nose, like so. Oh, fantastic. I think we've got our sketch. So now we can start painting. And as I mentioned, I would need to um, remove some of, erase some of the lines so that it's just easier uh, for me to achieve um, uh, the effect I would like it to have. So it's basically the body. And I will make the background, let's say, green, the light green. Yes, we we'll do that. So I am going to paint water here slightly Painting water slightly on top of um, the lines. Okay, slightly on top of the lines. And then I am going to get some green paint. And then I am going to paint here around. So I have dark green here. Okay, so it's not spreading as I want it to. So what I'm gonna do is with a clean brush, again, I'm going to paint over here, just plain water. And if there's too much. Okay, I'm gonna poke it a little bit with my brush and then let the paint naturally spread. And that is to give it that furry effect. And then here. Okay, so again here, and I painted it with water so that we can have a similar effect. And then we go around again. And then again, we paint water over the lines. And 
like so. There we have our lovely watercolor effect. And then for the bottom bit, we are going to make it more of the gray. Um, gray. So still with green. So we put green here. If I want to get over, I need to remove that. And then just a little bit of black paint. Make it a bit um, grayer, darker. Okay, fantastic. So now I need to remove some of the excess paint in the ears. I just need a clean kitchen towel to lift that. Oh, fantastic. And here the same. Okay, for this one, I will lift the excess water with the brush. And here as well. And now we can continue painting with uh, the body of our hamster. So the first color I'm going to get would be yellow ochre. And the yellow ochre would mark the areas that I will be uh, more or less painting. So I put the first layer of my uh, yellow ochre. Then here, as we can see, the dominant color would be orange. So I am going to get orange. And I am going to paint some areas with orange. So let me make that thicker. That has more water than color. So let me just get some orange paint. Perfect. And then just paint it here. Okay, there. Okay. Spread in here, we have to lift the paint. Let me lift some of it, like so. And here as well, let me spread this in a bit there. Hmm. Okay, so here and here. And then top let me, let me lift some from here and use it for this side like so and then here Perfect. So that's the second layer. First, we had the yellow ochre. Now we have the orange. Now I'm just painting water here on the edges to soften the effect of the orange layer. Okay. 
again, we have let this part spread. And that is to create that natural furry uh, appearance. So I'm going to go back to yellow ochre and just add a little bit of yellow ochre over here. And then now, very interesting, I am going to use burnt sienna. So burnt sienna here in between the hands. And then burnt sienna for the feet, including the webbing. Like so. And then let me just make it more concentrated. Okay, here, burnt sienna as well. And inside the ear. And on the other side as well, inside the ear. Then we spread this here. So this is the darker area. So we make this darker with burnt sienna. And then here, Let's just soften these edges by adding water. Soften these edges, same way, adding water. And then let me see, oh, it's looking very good. It's looking very good. Now the next color would be burnt umber. Yes, uh, it's starting to be darker and darker. So here, let me just, more water. Okay, so I'm making a burnt umber line here and here as well. And then just letting it spread. And here I am helping it spread. So this is to create the illusion that this is the head and that the lower part is more of the body. Okay, and with this um, burnt umber, okay, we are going to uh, paint this area as well. And this area. And then uh, just a little bit on the nose. just for the shape. And then here, the lower part of the eyes. Perfect. Um, a little bit more here in between the two hands. So there's like a line there, and then I'm going to follow the lines that were initially drawn. So let me just add water to the burnt umber we have here. Okay, it has now become too thick, so we will address that later on. So I'm just painting some uh, burnt umber here. And on the other foot as well. And then now, we need to clean our brush and use some water to soften this area. So we're just going to soften this area like so. Okay. 
Oh, perfect. So now uh, we need to put some more highlights like on the cheek here. Okay, it's too dilute. I need to make it thicker, I mean, more concentrated. Darker actually would be a better term. And here, slightly lighter. And here, let's just spread it. Okay, so now I have a clean brush. So I'm just spreading this one. Okay. And then similarly on this side, <coughs> also a clean brush. And now I'm just gonna rinse my brush. Okay, okay it's looking good. And we do have to soften this a little bit. <coughs> now we need red, but not very intense red. So it's going to be more pink. And then we are going to, well, maybe between pink and red. So a little dark pink. And we are going to paint the nose area like so. Here in the foot, the webbing. And of course, uh, the hand, some areas of the hand. Make it more pinkish. Okay, lovely. Now we have to go back to burnt umber and create those dots around the nose. So just small dots here in the lower area. And then burnt sienna. I don't know if you've noticed it's a bit reddish, but that's what we need right now, those, uh, that reddish uh, tint. So let's add some more here. Yes. We are doing very well. Okay, let me turn it around. Okay, fantastic. It's beautiful. And now I am going to get some black paint. Now the black paint would be used for the eyes and some areas uh, which would need to have some stronger accents. So we will use black for those areas. I need to turn it around. Oh, fantastic. Okay, and now I am going to paint this area with black. Oh, look at that, perfect. So I'm going to adjust this a little bit like so. Okay, and on the other side, similarly, I am going to make the adjustment as well, and I'm gonna go right through there. And now I am going to dip my brush in water, like so. And just spread that black paint, oh, beautiful. And here as well. Perfect. And a little bit of uh, this lifted and here. Okay. 
And then here, a little bit of black paint. And also here in this lower area, so we can get that illusion that makes it look more three dimensional. Ah, uh, okay. My hamster is look looks a little bit fat, but uh, let's make it uh, more balanced. So here, I'm just going to put some more burnt sienna, create that balance. Yes, it's because of uh, the paint spreading at the bottom. And here, we're just going to paint this with water. Okay. A little bit of burnt sienna here, close to the eye. And of course, here in the middle. And then here in the nose, let's spread this a little bit. Front umber. Here. and the feet. So we have to make the feet a little bit darker because of the shadow, yes. So this shadow and this area also has to be darker and below the feet as well. So we have to be mindful of this face because of the shadow. So here we go. And now we will paint the shadow below our hamster. So this one, I recommend adding a little bit more water before we actually add the black paint. So we can control it better. Yes, the shadow would be longer on this side compared to uh, this side. And that is because, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I did it wrongly. <laughs> the light is coming from this direction, so I now have to lift it. My apologies. So just like every time we um, change the color, um, well, it's not always possible. But for this one, it as I mentioned, we still have um, we are still able to control it. So this would be lighter, and this side would be darker. And that is because of the direction of light. Okay. So just um, ah, there's still something missing, and I think I know what it is. Can anyone guess? Yes, it's the whiskers. The whiskers have not been painted yet, so we just add the whiskers gently. And then 
a little bit more probably like so. And then on the other side as well. So let me turn it around so I can see it myself. Okay, I'm a happy bunny. <laughs> and let's see if we got ourselves a hamster. Yes, and as I can see here, it has uh, spread. So you need to do the correction now before it actually dries. So let me to do that again. We add water. So if we don't correct this, this would look more like a cat than a hamster. And we're not painting a cat, we're painting a hamster. So again, if we still have some more paint, we remove it by adding water. Because it's actually the triangular shape that creates that uh, special uh, hamster-ish uh, appearance. So let me just get some green paint for the background. And soften this edge. Okay. Again, it's the triangular shape. So now we have our hamster. So this is the original one we had. Let me compare. Ah, I think the new one is a little bit fat. So let's uh, just narrow its um, cheeks a little bit. Okay, that's much better. Much better. Okay, so this one, the original one, as you can see, has a more pointed chin. And this one is a wider one. So we need to make that a little bit narrower. Okay. Like so. Yes. To make it more characteristic of a hamster, not a cat or any other animal. And again, every time we do that, we have to make sure that the spread of color is um, proportion, proportion, proportionate enough. So here I think I've made it too dark. So we need to lift that and again, add some color to make it lighter. And then lift. And that is to alter the original uh, effect, which is too dark. And now, as you can see, the whiskers are sort of missing. So we have to redo all of those. But I think we've got it. Finally, we've got it. And this is our hamster. And so is this one. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's session. And see you again next time. Bye-bye.